Bonnie, happy Saturday. I am back. Oh my gosh. So I had a little bit of a confusing moment here with Boxy Charm. So I just got two boxes from them. I got a little box and I got a big box. So without even thinking, I assumed the big box was the premium and the little box was the base. Er, wrong. So if you're getting both, um, at least in my case, the little box is the premium and the big box is the base, which is a little bit confusing. However, <laughs> you'll understand once we start unboxing. So the premium, and you can actually tell which one is premium because you can see on the bottom, there's like um, a little number. So my number here is C2104209 dash PM. So that means it is premium, where the other one says BA, which stands for base. So my box is a little messy here because I kind of already went through this and then I went, wait a minute, this is the premium. So the premium is actually worth $200 this month. Um, you're going to pay $35 for this. Lots of good stuff. So I'm going to actually go through everything in the box. Again, I'm kind of glad I looked. I don't know what's in the base box. I didn't look yet, so that'll be a surprise. So a little confusion. So first up, from Do of the Gods, we got um, a body scrub, Iced Rosé. This actually looks really interesting. I am fascinated with the packaging, and it's all squishy and fun, so I am all about this one. The value on this one is a $22 value. I don't know if this is a sample size or if this is a full size. I'll have to look that up. That's kind of interesting. But I like the packaging a lot. Um, next up, oh my goodness, this, this is like really interesting. I'm like, I got rocks. <laughs> so from Nails Inc., we got two crystal ball rollers. Uh, they came in this box, and I'm looking at these close up, and I'm like, this kind of looks like my beach glass. <laughs> Check it out. So there's actual crystals in these roller ball lip glosses, uh, $24 value. Um, it's supposed to wake up your chakra. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'm like, maybe mine needs awoken. Um, I'm going to try these out. I don't know. I'm a little bit like, wow, there's rocks in here. <laughs> So I got to check these out. So we did get a set of those. Um, next up from Wander Beauty. This is the big product in the box. Um, we got the $68 value. Do not disturb overnight repair concrete. 1% retinoid um, to amp up skin's natural renewal cycle. Um, I do like Wander Beauty. Um, Wander Beauty is actually... Um, Korean Beauty. I like a lot of the Korean Beauty products out there, and it comes in a super cute package here. So I am going to check this out, but that was the um, kind of the expensive item in the premium box. Next up from NARS, we got a really pretty blush that is called, it's kind of an odd name, though. it's called Deep Throat. <laughs> what? Um, the shade is really pretty, though, as is the packaging. So let me pull this out. Um, the bad thing about the packaging is it leaves fingerprints. It's like a matte packaging, um, $30 value. Um, it, it feels really nice, but um, like I said, I noticed my fingerprints are on here now, but I really like the shade. Look at that. So I actually had my brush out here. I actually put this on a couple minutes ago. I didn't want to over blush. Um, but it does kind of like perk you up, gives you a nice rosy glow for summer. I'm just going to put that on my arm. I don't know if you can see that with the lighting. It's very light, but it's super pretty. So I will definitely be using that. That's a good one. Um, we also got a Marc Jacobs liquid eye, uh, eyeshadow. I love these. These are amazing. I love all liquid eyeshadow. I, for some reason, my 50 year old eyes, um, look fairly nice in the liquid eyeshadow and I love the shade. So check out the shade. Look at that, how pigmented that is. Um, the name of the shade is, it's called, uh, Caparazzi. How funny is that? It is copper. It's really pretty. Um, I think this is a $26 value. Yep. $26 value. And then finally, from Dose of Color, ooh, check this out, we got like a Space Age eyeliner. Um, the shade on this one, what's the shade on this one? It was a roasted something. Oh, dark roast. 
<laughs> it's like puffy. Um, but check this out. This looks like something like the Flock of Seagulls would use. But it's super pretty. Check this out. I love a nice dark brown eyeliner. So um, this is a $15 value. Would never pay $15 for an eyeliner. That's why I get the beauty boxes. So overall, the premium box I thought was definitely worth it. I love the eyeliner. I love the um, the Marc Jacobs um, eyeshadow, and I'm really loving uh, the blush. So overall, a good box for that. Let me put everything back in here so I can do the base box. Okay, got everything in here. I'll take a picture of this, put this on Instagram too. I love this. This is so pretty. Okay, so as I drop it on the floor, my desk is a mess, you guys. I really want to clean my entire desk tomorrow so I can get organized. So, like I was saying, the premium box is the little box, and the base box is the big box. How funny is that? So, the base box number is c uh, 2104021 ba which stands for base, and this one is worth about 150 bucks. So, I'm just going to dig in here. Um, first thing up is Natasha Denona. Uh, we got an eyeshadow palette exclusively created for BoxyCharm, $50 value. I always kind of wonder on the values for the stuff that's created for BoxyCharm, um, because they always feel like they're really high. Although, oh, I got a good one. I saw these on BoxyCharm. I really like the shade in this one. Oh my goodness. What's the shade called? <gasps> it's called... Ayana. Oh my gosh. So I saw it, like I said, a couple of these on BoxyCharm. This one is actually really pretty, although it does look like it had a little bit of a um, jostling around in the packaging. It looks like some of the shades, um, it, it, it's not used at all, but it looks like they um, kind of flaked out of the out of the packaging. But let me, let me do this. If I just shake it up, yeah, see, look. So if I shake it a little bit, it looks like it's kind of like flaking off a little bit, which is interesting. I'm going to swatch one of these just to see. this. Um, what is this called? Um, 18, it's funny because I think they're backwards. 18M Glam Green, this one is called. Let me see what the pigment, yeah, good pigmentation on these. These are nice. Um, like I said, I kind of wonder about the price on these, but it looks like a quality eyeshadow palette. Um, so I'm impressed. The packaging is pretty awful though. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, they just put it in like this like plain cardboard box, uh, which isn't super, um, isn't super pretty. It was made in Italy, but, um, they could have done a little better on the packaging. <laughs> Next up, we oh we have oh I'm so excited about this. Um, this is from uh, Monica Kadar Beauty. Uh, this is the uh, plug it two piece tweezer set. It's funny. I was just thinking that I needed to get some new tweezers, so I'm actually really excited about that. Let me get my my letter opener here. <laughs> my letter opener is being used now to open beauty packages. Let me see here. Oh, 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 I'm dropping everything, you guys. Um, these, okay, they're sealed. No, they're not sealed. They're, they're, they're tweezed together. These are nice. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I'm kind of excited about these. I do not need to go out buying tweezers now. So that's a good deal. Um, next up we have, oh, a mascara. Okay. This is the, uh, Petite and Pretty Fully Feathered Volumizing Mascara. Never heard of this company before. I will have to look them up. It's kind of weird because there's stickers all over this. Uh, one looks like it's just a like an item number. And the other sticker says uh, Ophthalmologist Approved, Not for Resale. I do understand why they put the Not for Resale on because they don't want people returning the stuff they get in the boxy charm boxes. Um, you know, to like stores, that would make total sense. Um, so check this out. Ooh, oh, that's a fuzzy brush. <laughs> check this out. That's a really, really feathered fuzzy brush. I don't know. I'm going to see what this is like. This looks like it might be, uh, <laughs> this looks a little goopy, you guys. I don't know about this one. I don't know. I'm going to check this one out. Um, that's a lot of product for one swipe, uh, just on my hand. So, uh, what's the value on that one? 
do, 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 16 bucks. I don't know. I'm going to check that one out before I use it. Um, cause I, I think this could be a little clumpy. Um, next up we have the Georgette Klinger vitamin C mask. Vitamin C masks are always nice. Um, $36 value. Let me just show you this, what it looks like. Check this out. Oh, that's nice. Nice packaging. I'm all about the packaging. Check that out. Um, I will read about this one and check it out. And then finally in the box, because there are actually uh, one, two, three, four, five products. I forgot how many products are in the base box. Five products in base. And you get one, two, three, four, five, six in premium. So like I said, premium 200, base like around a little under 150, I think. The final thing we got is the Touch in Soul uh, Pretty Filter Icy Sherbert Primer. I'm actually excited about this. I did see this on Instagram. Um, I'm kind of curious to see what this looks like. So check it out. Super pretty packaging. Um, I wonder what this feels like. Is it icy on your skin? Um, how do I open this? Oh my goodness. There we go. Oh, it's gooey. Oh, check this out. It's all gooey. Wow. That's definitely gooey. Look at this. Oh, it smells nice. Oh, right up my nose. Um, take a little bit. Oh, wow. It, oh, that's kind of nice. It goes on really smoothly. Um, this is really interesting. I'm going to check this out. So um, a big yay for this. I'm, I'm excited to try this out. So overall, I think the premium, I mean, the, the base box, see, I'm all confused now. <laughs> That's the premium. This is the base. Um, I'm excited about the base box. I do like this Icy Sherbert Primer. The vitamin C uh, mask is always a good thing. I think the dud in this one to me so far is this mascara. It just feels like, let me just show you again. It just feels like this is just really goopy, but it could just be um, how it looks. It might go on really nice. So first first look isn't necessarily anything. Um, and the eyeshadow palette is definitely pretty. So overall, a good base box from BoxyCharm this month. Um, let me know what you guys think. If you got yours, all my links for the referral are down below. I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.